This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. The lesson I'm on is Changing Variables with B, Puzzle 7. This puzzle is a little different. What do you need to do to solve it? Oh, I guess we'll find out. Uh, hopefully, right? So, okay, it looks like this is kind of a weird shaped square in a way that we need to go around. So that's good to know. Um, it's we need to move over once, then all the way up, then over here, then down. So four times, right? Let's do a loop four times, I'm from what I can tell. And then we need, oh, we should make a variable. I'm assuming we need one because that's what this lesson is about. Let's rename it. I guess I'll just use what we have been to gather. Rename. And let's start it out at 1, and we can change it up as needed. Okay, now we have a variable. Now let's go ahead and we have been using functions to get around, so let's do that. Function, do something, function. What did I name mine last time? Collect all. And that makes sense because I want to collect everything. I could say collect square. Uh, all right. Now, what am I going to do with this is, hmm. Let's call it. So I run it four times and I want to move forward. How many times do I want to move forward? Let's see. Two, five, six. It's different each time. What about, oh, wait. But the only time we're going to turn is when we hit the end of it, right? Oh, you should turn. Boom, you should turn. Boom, you should turn. Boom, you should turn. Okay, so as long as there's path ahead, we can keep going in this one. Oh, except we need to get stuff here. How are we going to make our bee stop here and there? And th Oh, wait a minute. If we stop when there's not path head, we can have the bee turn to the right, move forward one, collect, and then keep going. So we'll do wall path head after collecting, wall path head after, okay, okay, I got it. Action. We're going to start by moving forward. Then we want to gather, oh, and I'm saying the word gather, so that probably means we're going to use the variable. We want to get honey. Mm. repeat like we have been using except let's put our variable in this so the first time will be one time that makes sense and what do we want to do we want to make honey at that point because if we'll be at this wall we'll want to make honey then what oh and honey is always first awesome and then we're going to turn left and then move forward. And like I said, we're going to get to this first before doing the the wall path ahead thing. Because otherwise we would fly right over it. All right. And then what do I want to do now? Well, I'm going to again use my, because it changes how much we have, my loop wall path. No, uh, repeat how many times, uh, which variables, gather. And then this time, though, action's going to be, nope, no, 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 action will be get nectar, I think. Okay, and then the first time we'll do it once. Let's just run this and see. Oh, what? Oh, right. Okay. Yep, now it will keep going because I said four times. But I'm only getting one now, and I need to get it three there, and I need to get five here. So I'm going to keep going. I, yeah, turn, turn, I get nectar, but I'm only getting everything once. So I need to increase it, but increasing it by one won't work. If I start at one, though, that's what I have to start. Wait a minute. One, so one plus two is three. Three plus two is five. I got it. All right, so what we need then is our variable gather, 
And after we collect it all, right? So after we run collect, meaning we've gotten honey however many times, we've gotten nectar however many times, so we've gotten both of these, what do we want to do? Well, we know that now it needs to be two more than what it used to be. So gather needs to be equal to whatever gather used to be plus plus two. And then we'll hit the bottom, zoop, and run it again, collect all, and now gather will be gather plus two. So we'll move forward till we hit this wall. We'll collect how much? Well, gather was one. One plus two is three. So set gather to whatever gather used to be equal to plus two. So after the first run through, it will set gather to three. Zoop. We run through, we gather three times. We move over, we gather three times again. We're done running the collect function hit this again, set below, so then the gather three, so set gather to what gather used to be equal to, which now is three, plus two is five, and we run it again, and we should be good to go. But uh awesome onward